to do. But uh, Anshul, would it be fair to say that there is some sort of a shift then in that sense that people are more open, more aware and we are sort of talking about it. I mean earlier we just heard about class 7 and 6 students starting preparing uh, for the IITs. This is very different here. Sure. Someone who is sort of uh, maybe not thinking laterally but thinking big in a sense and, and it's never too early to start. Absolutely. There is a shift at every level. Uh, it's at the government level as we've seen with the Champions for Change event that mm -hmm. the PM uh, has put together with Niti Aayog. There's change at the parent mindset level and the student level that Harsh is talking about. I, I'd be happy to share a personal story from that, from that second batch. For the last six years, I've been running an education company called Camp K-12 in, in India, working with K-12 schools. Six years ago when I came and I said, hey, I learned, I learned how, how to build things because teachers took the risk and taught me to make games, something I like to do. People thought I was crazy. Why should we let kids work on things like games? Why should we let them code? There's so much to be doing in t for the 10th class, 12th class exams. There's so much test prep to do. They have to run from coaching center to coaching center. So where's the time coming from? But then I reminded them, I said, look at any entrepreneur you respect. Look at whether it's the Zuckerbergs that you mentioned at the start of this talk or an author like JK Rowling and ask the question, when they got started, Sure, they might have dropped out of Harvard, but they got into Harvard before they dropped out of Harvard. So they weren't, they weren't throwing everything away and then doing it. They were balanced people who were taking a shot at, at many different things. And so I've seen that mindset start to trickle in, and I'm very happy about it. That's what keeps me excited as an education entrepreneur in India. It's what makes me excited about what AI can do. And it's, it's very exciting to see that the audience is there at every level for that change. That and they're asking the private sector, startup entrepreneurs, to come and provide it. That really is encouraging, really, even to hear you say that. That Okay, Anshul, I'm starting to wrap, but I'll give you the last words. You know, uh, you're from uh, Harvard. You worked at Google, Apple, Microsoft. Uh, my last question as I wrap to you is that, you know, there are all those who are perhaps watching this today and thinking that all those opportunities could have been yours. You focused on education. What are the two things that you would like to see change uh, in the system for you to sort of, for people like yourself, to see all these uh, technology initiatives in education take India and its young to where we believe we ought to be. Yes, um, thank you for giving me the chance to share my opinion on this because I think um, it, it's an important question. Mm -hmm. And the, the two things or one or two things that I would like to see change is when it comes to the role of government and when it comes to the role of our senior leadership here, uh, I'd like to see uh, them working with the private sector on on uh, really large scale curriculum reform mm -hmm. in bringing not just for K twelve but for higher ed for for skilling beyond that. But I'd like to see twenty first century skills introduced in our education system here. As an education entrepreneur, as you said, I mean, after the after my edu my own education, graduating college in the US, I came to India because I think that private sector can make a, a, a big difference and, and entrepreneurs can do that. I, I think that if we can work together with, um, with public sector, the, the impact can just be so much larger, reaching the base of the pyramid that you're talking about, uh, changing the mindsets from a very young age. So I'd love to, I'd love to collaborate um, with public sector on that. Okay. Okay, we're of course all in this together. We're going to be the youngest country in the world by 2020, which is why all these opportunities in education mm -hmm. now, which is so very crucial, uh, a young country yep. hungry for the best opportunities, best access. Can AI and artificial intelligence provide young India? That That is the big question. But uh, thanks all so much for taking our time to speak uh, to us. Devashish, Harsh, uh, Rendra, and of course, uh, Anshul. Thanks all.